guys i'm done with my um meeting so yes thank god na kami na kami and okay in line with this with today um i share ko naman yung mga info, information technology ko no as a mother so yes all right okay so yes guys um since as i have said through online na lahat ngayon as a mother we need to uh, kailangan pa rin natin kumita kahit pa paano kahit pa sa bahay lang tayo so um i would highly suggest to get a connection rather than um, applying manually at the office or working on site um because me i just want to be safe because i have a baby so um with this video guys ituturo ko po sa inyo another information on how to get an internet connection at home a stable internet connection at home na hindi mo na kailangan pong lumabas ng bahay so okay, um, ibibigay ko po sa inyo yung information ng agent namin na kung guma nag-assist sa amin para po ma-assist din po kayo na madalian so in my case kasi guys i'm a work i'm a home based mother and um as i said nag zoom kami kanina seminar so uh, internet is life for me so the same as i'm going to give an information para po may may iba hagi naman po ako kahit papano um ang step by step process para po magkaroon ng information ng internet yung yung site ninyo or yung bahay ninyo para po makapag online pa rin kayo so Yes guys, kasi dito, I'm not bashing the PLDT and Globe, pero um, hina kasi siya. Sobra siya mahina. Tapos, kung nag naglalag siya, tapos kung maglo-load ka naman, yung load mo, syempre, share, may shareable ka lang. Tapos, yung tawag nito, yung video, giga video mo, meron lang siyang limit. So, hindi ako makapag-upload na makapag-upload. Hindi rin ako laging nakaka-online doon sa site namin. So, mas maigi na na magpa-online na ako internet connection. So, um, okay. The step by step process I'm going to show you. First, kukontakin nyo yung agent. Pangalaw, bibigay ko yung number. Nandiyan na sa description. And then, yung agent na yun, mag-a-assist sa inyo, prepare nyo lang yung valid IDs and then proof of billing tapos yung information meron silang online link may bibigay sa inyo um, i-fill up nyo lang yon tapos um, magbabayad kayo ng actually it's a cash out 1,500 only that is for the installation the installation is 2,500 but you have to make a payment on that inst installment process so 150 I think Uh, ko lang ko lang yan, every month so i-add up na nila yun sa monthly billing mo so yung monthly billing mo na 1.5, madadagdagan lang siya ng 100 something, so magiging 1.6 na siya a month, every month so yun na guys um, magbabayad ka lang 1.6 a month pero before installation meron kang cash out na 1.5 so yung process na yung video na ipapakita ko sa inyo is yung how to make a payment for your internet connection, converge internet connection using Gcash. So, yes guys, sana um, this video will help you a lot. Sana rin po magkaroon na kayo ng internet at makapagtrabaho kayo online. So, yes guys, I am praying that everybody will have a work from home para lahat tayo kikita and of course, para lahat po tayo um, makapag makasurvive. So, yes guys, just enjoy the video. Good morning guys. Yes, welcome back here. So, yes, let's proceed with the process on how to pay your um converge account via GCash. So, let's start logging in to our GCash account. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and then I 
Alright, so we already log in. We're going to um, look for pay bills. Here it is. Hold on. Here. And then let's click forward for that. Alright. And then we are going to um, select the cable or internet menu. Here it is. Okay. Right. And then it's we're going to um, look for the converge menu yes here it is I already um, note it here so let's click on that all right so they um, set, set here that uh, converge ICT will be posted real time so meaning um once we're going to process the payment right now we, um we can uh, it will be reflected into their system right away so um they are asking for the account number the 13 digit so that was texted um on my phone number earlier so let's look for that all right so here it is yes so this is my um, account number. Did you see that? Okay. So we're going to copy that one. Let's press the copy text. Let's try if it's working. Hold on. Go back here. I'm going to paste it first on my notepad just to make it um, clear. Okay. So I'm going to select the account number only Hold. all right then copy then let's go back to gcash and then paste it here all right so you see um the 13 digits number 00202307 so we're going to count that to four six eight ten twelve thirteen exactly so we are going to pay one five that is um the cash out payment once you're going to um ask for a for this is instantly uh, install installation so cash out payment is one five all right you don't need to put the zero zero all right i'm sorry it's account name so just let's say um hold on okay so we're going to put the email all right just fill out all the information here so okay let's proceed let's let's hit next okay so here we go we already processed the payment uh, they're waiting for the confirmation so you can see here on the um, lower bottom please note that the several billers charge a service fee so there might be a service fee if you're going to make a payment using gcash so let's check if there is one five hold on just check the confirm button slow connection i think okay here we go so yes guys it's um quite good because um we just confirmed the payment right now and um one five from one thousand five hundred payment they only charge for seven pesos so that's quite good you don't need to go to payment out uh, to bill uh, what do you call that 
yung mga bayad center, just like 7-Eleven or in um, LBC. You just need, you don't need to fall in line. You just process the payment using GCash. And so, you just need to pay at least 7 pesos service fee. So, yes, guys, you can check here that um, they already, yes, received the payment. It was dated today, June of 5th. 5.34 a.m. So, real time, they already, um, the payment posted on their system. So, very good. Alright, so, let, since we already make the payment, just confirm it. Or you can, um, take a screenshot on the payment you have as a duplicate. Then, let's hit done. Alright. So, we're good. We already made a payment. So, once um, they check on their system that the payment was posted, we will just wait for seven days. They say um, seven days application may be uh, it no three no three to five uh, three business days once the payment posted. So let's wait for three business days. Um, they are going to call us informing that um they receive the payment and they are going to install already on the internet so that's all guys thank you for watching till next video bye bye So, yun po ang paraan kung paano mag-process ng payment ng inyong I, uh, Converge ICT via GCAS. So, di ba napaka-easy lang. So, it's very easy guys. Just contact that person. Then, ang pagkatapos, i-ano uh, nyo, um, ko-communicate nyo lang siya. Tapos, assist nyo lang. I-assist na kayo nun. Then, afterwards, tuloy-tuloy na yun. Nabilis lang siya guys. Um, bigyan mo lang, mag-ano ka lang ng mga... 7 working days, 7 to 10 working days na i-process nyo yung, um, yung installation pagkatapos yung payment yung muna tapos yung installation. Ito na yun na yun. So that's all for this video guys. Sana may natutunan kayo at may naibahagi naman ako kahit pa pan. Thank you for watching my video and if you're new with this channel, please hit subscribe button and if you like this video, please like and share. Thank you and bye-bye.